What is up friends? The day has happened where I have decided to go and get my Sam's haul today. So I wanted to show you what exactly we got and I will run the totals at the end. Please forgive the mess. It's almost the Christmas season so we are having to um, kind of arrange the house and all that great jazz. So here's we goes. Okay friends, so we're gonna try with our dry goods first and work our way around. So here we go. Um, we are just in desperate need of some food storage containers for like my rice, um, especially my rice, but probably also some of my beans or lentils. I haven't really decided what the second one's for, but we most definitely need it for rice. I have like, um, I wanna say 30 pounds of rice in the freezer because they have to be treated for 48 hours to make sure that all pestilence are dead before you can put them in a container. So that's, you know, that's what's happening next. Um, we always need Tide Pods. I can't imagine um, why we go through so much Tide or so much detergent. We are four people at this stage in our life and we're about to be three people. So hopefully this will be backed down quite a bit. Quite a bit. I will have to say though, I still have two packages from the last one. I just didn't think I could make it through December and January without having to go to Walmart to get some more. So we went ahead and got them on our sales order. We are stocking back up on some deodorant for the husband because we're getting low. He just opened his last one and uh, we have eliminated all of the Tylenol in this house. So we are down to um, just ibuprofen and according to COVID, you don't need to be taking only ibuprofen. Uh, so we stocked up on our channel. I have been out of plates and this is going to help us, especially during the holiday season with, um, our dinners that we're going to be having. So ta -da, I'm really, 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 really happy with this brand. Um, I would have to compare them to a Chinette. So I really, really like them. Um, vinegar, of course, for our laundry. Um, we use it in replacement of a softener and it does a very good job. Now over here to our fresh veggies. Um, I love salads, so this should be no shock to those of you who know me. Um, I've got plenty of stuff to get me through a couple of weeks on the salad side, as well as some romaine lettuce. Uh, we also stocked up on our cheeses because we are completely out of shredded cheese and have been for more than a week now. And then some more sliced cheeses because we like them. Um, my husband is dying because we're out of sour cream. Last of it was earlier this week. And I just felt like stocking up on cheese for cream cheese for the holidays was a smart idea. And then feta because feta makes every salad better. 
we have our eggs and I think I'm the only one that's eating them right now, but that's okay. Um, because they last us a really long time if it's just me. And I want to say this is the 90 count, but I am not, I'm not seeing it on here, but I'm almost positive. This is the 90 count of eggs. Um, Cream of mushroom and cream of chicken, of course, are some of the casserole necessities during the holiday season. So I bought and stocked up on those. Brianna and I are the only ones that eat oatmeal. So we went ahead and went for the flavored kind. I know that's not the healthiest, but you know what? It's small lifestyle changes <laughs> that make a big difference over a consistency of time. So we are the happy people who will be eating oats. And more than likely, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably gonna be my evening snack because I just really like it something warm um it's gonna replace my ice cream addiction okay i do not normally buy k-cups um but i am struggling with a heart palpitation uh, because i have svt and i feel like it is anxiety related but they say it's just i was born with it but what i'm really trying to do is back off as much as possible from my caffeinated beverages so the decaf coffee is going to be what gets me up in the morning and we'll see how this goes i mean i like it but i don't have a, a very good choice about it i mean i've got to back off the caffeine and this is how i'm gonna try to do it in my coffee i'm really hoping that this is tasty enough creamer will make it tasty right um stocking up on some more of our favorites from barilla um noodles like we absolutely love these kind or this brand and when i try to stock up um from sam's i usually get the variety sometimes i don't have it so and then i don't normally buy these guys the um the flavored rices but lately i've been struggling to remember to eat and i've been feeling very sick so um these are just a really quick way to throw some nutrients in my body uh, pancakes are for our breakfast nights because we have Brenner for dinner once a week. It is every Wednesday, so this will be a lovely addition to our uh, breakfast. We've been having a lot of French toast and gravy, biscuits and gravy. Let's see. Um, yeah, French toast bites, biscuits and gravy. Oh, look, next week is pancakes. And then omelets and then for breakfast. So, um, got a lot of spaghetti sauce. And um, I just went blank. Alfredo. And the, guys, this is not a whole lot of Alfredo sauce, but it is a base for me. Like I get this and get it started and then I add my own stuff to it. So it thickens and adds quite a bit more quantity. So um, I have a lot of friends that don't like Alfredo unless it's like homemade, but this is how I start it. Don't judge me. I wanted to try these. I had seen them online and thought, man, they might make a really good pizza. Um, so we're going to experiment with that at some lunches. Rotel, we go through this like fire. Um, it is this and um, diced tomatoes that we go through quite a bit of. So I bought two of them to get us through for the next couple of months. And then I also bought some singles. These are not my favorite. I absolutely cannot stand American cheese. But my youngest daughter wants this instead of the um, like gourmet cheeses that I had bought in that box over there because she says they gag her so textures and then we are a family of hot sauces um and this this haul required franks and i'm sure the next one will require cholula because that's what we do um we go back and forth i did not quite empty these out yet but these are my meats and my veggies that are frozen so i have stir fry mix they were completely out of normandy broccoli and green beans so this is the next best thing that i can do and we'll make it work we have chinese at least once a month but i'm sure i can find other things to be using that for and then because oh gosh because i'm low on shrimp i have shrimp oh man these were supposed to be tailed and everything Oh well, we'll figure it out, right? Um, things that I've missed are limes and our onion, our onions, oh my goodness, our limes and our lemons. Um, these are just part of our everyday consumptions. Um, and then I was out of pistachios, so I'm really, really excited about a new fresh bag of pistachios. And this week we were given a, 
a goodie bag. Sorry guys, between me, the camera, and the stand, we're fighting and I can't breathe today. Um, so we're gonna see what's in my goodie bag together. Oh, off the eaten path, it looks like it is just a chickpea veggie crisp, but how fun, how fun is that? What else have we got in here? A sparkling ice water. I do not like these, but my daughter Caitlin loves them, so she might really like that. And then, oh, strawberries and cream oatmeal. Cool. Well, we're already eating those, so that's perfect. And of course, the bottom of the bag has a coupon. So, um, yeah. And that finishes up the haul. All right, guys, thank you so much for following along and watching us on our latest haul. This one is to Sam's Club. And what I will do is do a comparison of our costs from Costco to Sam's. I have to let you know a secret though. We still have so much meat left into our freezer that we did not have to buy a lot of meat this go around. Um, like I said, it was just the shrimp. So if you can remember those things I might have to do like a freezer tour for you guys so that you can see just how stocked our freezers are and why this order is definitely not what we would have typically have expected from a haul um, but we hope that you guys like this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't hit the subscribe button please do so we love it when you guys follow us um, and I guess that's it we hope that you have a happy holidays Merry Christmas to all of you and a happy new year God bless